So what I want to do, Elizabeth, is let's make this real practical for our listeners. So assuming that we are looking at a particular a niche that has been provided by a particular ASIN. Mm -hmm. Let's start with calculating the market size. So if I'm selling, let's say, a, a baby car seat, how do I know how much money is being spent on baby car seats looking at Product Opportunity Explorer as you know, close as possible? What is the right way to go about it? Yeah, so that would be a little bit harder to determine because you'd have to figure out the average cost per clicks, which that's not something that Amazon provides here. They do have, so we're looking specifically at niche details and we're on the insights tab right now. Um, they do have, now this is past 365 days, um, average units sold. And it does give a range. And the one that I'm looking at is between 3,000 and 4,000, um, which again, can give you a good idea as to like the range of sales. Again, that's a that's a pretty wide, wide range and it's over a longer time period. There's other views that will break it down on um, maybe a little bit more granular view. Um, I do see it kind of interesting. So this tab right now, now that I'm looking at it again, we're in the insights tab. So it says insights about the niche. In a lot of the other tabs, it shows you, um, you know, get an aggregate of the 90, uh, 180 and 360 days views, which is, a, again, it's a long enough look back window. I think it's interesting. I'm actually looking at the grid right now and I'm seeing a today column, which is, again, interesting. I don't know other than looking at the trends and the graphs, which those will give you, you know, a much more like accurate up to date one. I don't know if I realize. So there are things like uh, it will show you products with the top 90 percent of clicks. Again, this is defined by the niche and you can see the actual keyword searches uh, that is sort of grouped together in this niche if you go to the search terms tab, which again, we went over in the last one and how to maybe use it to get insights into specific keywords you should go after. Again, I would recommend going and checking that out. Um, it also shows brands and selling partners, again, top 90%. So it's giving you products and it's also giving you brands. Again, these are anonymous. It's not going to give you the very specific. It's not It's not looking at, okay, so who is? Again, you can actually see top click. So the top three, very similar to um, traditional uh, brand, what's it, the escapes me, but the, the very old school, um, you know, brand data where you get like, say the top three clicked products that is available here. So you can kind of piece out a little bit as to maybe where the top click products are but it's only going to show you the top three or here it's again, this is in a particular niche I'm looking at. Um, so it's saying number of products here. There's, uh, let's see, 90 days. We have 31 products. So this is the top 90% of clicks. So there's 31 products that are in the top 90%, which tells you that there's, you know, pretty wide range. You might get into certain niches and you would say, well, the top, you know, top 90% of clicks are on a very smaller subset. The other interesting thing is if I go a little bit down, uh, I can see another section that says, so it's brands and selling partners. So again, instead of defining it by individual products, they're not looking at brands. So I can say, okay, so there was 31 products that were in the top. And if we look at a brand level, there's only 21, which tells you that there's brands that are selling multiple products that are in that upper echelon of the click. So maybe there's specific brands that are uh, doing really good with their market share. So that I find kind of interesting um you can also see the top five brands the top 20 brands uh what is their click share percentage so the top five brands are taking up 69 percent of um the click share which is significant so again it, it's giving you ideas of what does the competition look like how stiff is the competition how many brands again the intent of this was for amazon to say hey go find places that are underserved in the market because that's one of Amazon's goals. They want to have the best selection for the best price. So they want you to have an idea of, okay, we're, I mean, there's entire teams in Amazon that literally what they do is they assess the catalog and go and find brands to fill holes in the catalog. Um, mm -hmm. 
there there's entire again entire departments dedicated to doing that so their goal with releasing this was like hey go find an underserved market which is great but it also gives us again a first party data never seen before no one would be able to pull this um really great insights as to again where where are the underserved places or again where can we improve on okay so these people working on the stuff they 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 cannot have a life i mean <laughs> makes you uh, go nuts with all the numbers uh, so let's uh, i want to backtrack so there is something right at the top of that page insights you have average units sold past 360 days so again this is in that particular niche and it's showing you how many pieces were sold in the last 360 days. You also, right next to it, you have the average price. Mm -hmm. So in my book, if you multiply average price with average units sold, that's the total amount of money spent, right? Uh, that would be the average sales for the niche. Yes. Yeah. Well, so if... if uh, I, what I'm looking at, it, of course, they give a range. It's not like yeah. specific number. Yeah. So it's between, let's say that it shows 300 to 500 and the average price is 20 bucks. So that means that in that particular niche, in a year, 300 times 20, that's $6,000. So it's, it's between $6,000 to $10,000 are being spent in that particular niche. Mm. That's what... Oh, okay, yeah. okay, I get what you're saying now. So spent by the by the shoppers is what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. my brain yeah. always thinks in ads. So I'm like, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. So, yeah. It's kind of like the market size. So what is the what is the pie? The size of the pie is what I'm getting at. Because once you define the size of the pie, that's the universe that's gonna start to get taken in pieces by you know different listings. So so that's. What you are seeing, number one. Uh, so what you want is a number that you are comfortable with. So obviously, if you are targeting a niche that has a fairly small size of the pie, then it doesn't matter. Even if you get 100% of it, it's not going to be enough. So that's point one. Point two is you also want, on the same page right at the top, uh, search volume. So you want search volume to be growing. Mm-hmm. That's another thing. Uh, so anybody who searches on their ASIN, whatever the niche comes up with, and these are the numbers that they're looking at so they can read it. 